Good day guys. Welcome where maths is made easy with teacher Satya here. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys on how to find a total surface area of a hemisphere step by step. Make sure you stick along and watch the entire video to have a better understanding on this topic. Let's get to it guys. So first of all guys, let's start off by writing what is the formula to find the total surface area of this hemisphere. So the total surface area of this hemisphere will be the curved surface area, let me call it a CSA, so the curved surface area plus the area of flat face, okay, let me call that area of its flat face. Now, if you watched my previous video on how to find the total surface area of a sphere, we would note that in this one, since it is a hemisphere, the curved surface area would be one half multiplied by four pi r squared, right guys? So this one would be equal to the curved surface area. And then the area of the flat face would be pi r squared as the flat face is a circle. Right guys, so what we did here is the CSA is half of the sphere plus the area of the flat face which is pi r square. Now let's see what we have here guys. So 2 and 4 can simplify. So 2 will change to 1 and 4 will change to 2. Therefore we have 2 pi r square plus pi r square which is equal to 3 pi r square. So this is the formula that we will be using in order to find the total surface area of this hemisphere. Now in this question, as you see here, they have provided us with the diameter, but we need to know its radius to find the total surface area. Now we know that the radius is half of its diameter. The radius would be 21 over two, which is equal to 10.5 centimeter, right guys? Now let us take this value and plot it in the formula that we have. So TSA is 3 pi r square, which is 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by 10.5 to the power of 2, right guys, which is equal to 3 times pi times 10.5 to the power of 2 should give us 110.25, right guys. Now, 3 times 110.25 should give us 330.75 pi. Now, if we take the value of pi as 3.14, right guys, 3.14 multiplied by 330.75, we should get an answer approximately 103.8555. Centimeter square. All right, guys, so that is how we would find the total surface area of a hemisphere. Now, if you did enjoy this video, do not forget to click on that like button and don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future maths videos. Until next time, guys, have a nice day.